In this video, I play Pikmin 4 with my big sister, McKinley. We bought it under the impression that it was a two-player game because we played Pikmin 3 together for hours and hours and hours. But it's basically not a two-player game. But we still had fun and we passed off the controller to one another, so enjoy. Also, if you've never played the other Pikmin games, that's okay. Basically, all that it is is there's little creatures called Pikmin. They can fight monsters, they can collect stuff, they respond to the whistle. And that's all you really need to know, really, because the story explains itself. The worst. Oh my gosh, look inside the container. They're carrying a macaroon. <laughs> a macaroon? Yeah. A macaroon. Now I can't say it right. <laughs> How did you pronounce that? Is it a macaroon? I don't think that's what they're called. Is it macaron? I think it's something like, I don't know. Macaroon. Am I oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's so cute. Look at that. Look. Oh my crap. Do you want to put the game in? Do you want to do the honors? Sure. Look! <laughs> Look, it has a cute little dog on it. Oh! I wonder who we're gonna be this time. If we're gonna be like the captain. Oh. Look or... How big that purple Pikmin is compared to the blue. I mean, the white one. Mm-hmm. This is. This looks a lot calmer than the other one. I don't know. Maybe it's luring you into a sense of that it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Whoa! Like it's a park bench. We got the story. Rescue shipwrecked castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of Pikmin in this epic adventure. Put your planning skills to work and manage the clock. So I think we're just gonna go story. Okay. And I'm not gonna put you on hard this time. Captain, <laughs> 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 Should I be reading this? <laughs> ドルマストソンロースデリーウェラスマケルシパリポスナパートゥグヌルパラディマーラモールブロックパンウェイノ <laughs> This is such a cute animation style ピクミンそんな<笑><笑> Feed it the Pikmin. Uh, what? <laughs> it only has two legs. Mm, to win. Oh, it's a little bit It's like a kangaroo mouse. Yeah. She is a steadfast partner. She can help. <laughs> Did the ship just beam itself together? I don't know. That's that's <laughs> that's voodoo. Windows para Rivali Kevna. Whoa. Oh my crap. We're in a kitchen! <laughs> Dude, the onion. <gasps> it's blue and green! Oh my god! Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. I wonder what it is. It looks lived in. There's not dust or anything. Yeah. Wait, where are you running off to? Do we have to go find our picture? I don't know. <laughs> uh, he hide. They're playing! I thought that was a cheese grater for a second. I got really nervous. No! <laughs> that can't be the good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I'll have to call them back while I search for missing ship parts. Wait, how is he still looking for ship parts when we just flew in his ship here? I... yeah. <gasps> oh my crap, you're riding it. Activate the pebble pitcher? Oh, so I can... <gasps> you just hit me! I didn't... oh. Ah! Oh, they could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. 
I just need to press X and hold button down and then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let her rush. Oh, go. Ah! Pikmin. Yes. Aha, I knew it. Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. I wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I better make note of this in my voyage log. Oh, I can choose. Should I just do it now? I guess. Record and log. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now how to phrase it. This is really interesting. This is so different. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived in this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. Number 76 of strange Pikmin behavior. <laughs> We're the other 70. I, I, I don't know, but I really <laughs> want to know. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it'll be easier if we have Pikmin to help me. <gasps> look, Kinley, look at them. Look, they're all in the puppy. What? That's kind of weird. <laughs> and what happened at the end of the last Pikmin? Where did his dog go? I don't know. What this is, is that? I don't. This is the story of how when what happened when he first arrived. What is that brain thing? Did hit it with a hit it with a pebble. Are you not close enough? No. I think they know they're safe in this house. That's what I'm thinking too. Oh, and look at the updated, um, the updated Pikmin. You can see. That's really cool. They're going down the slide in the background. Oh, oh and they're my shooting gosh! Up the <laughs> Could those Pikmin be playing? It, it does like appear it. that way, yes. I don't want it. They're having so much fun. <laughs> that was quite the jump. They're just... <laughs> Look at that. It kind of looks like the mom koala bear and little babies. That <laughs> Did I hit any of them? Nope. Well, it's the blue ones. you are your blue ones. Yes. Huh? Let's get them down with a rush. Well, they must be on top of the pillow. I rush. <laughs> oh my gosh! So aggressive. They're playing and he's like, no, time to work. Yeah. Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely on my pup's powerful nose. Track down those ship parts, girl. <laughs> she do a sniff? We need to stay on that scent. Nice. Yes, I can help. Do it! Get him! Oh, I think I need to walk into him first. Oh. A creature! I don't see any ship parts. Could that have thing- could that thing have swallowed one whole? That just looks wrong. It, yeah, it does. <gasps> oh my crap! <gasps> oh! Ah! Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is really weird. So this is a really angry porcupine brain hedgehog. Yeah, maybe I should use X to build up energy so I can... Okay. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. Me running around is going to make this hard for you. Oh, I can't charge all my Pikmin anymore. It just charges me. up or something. This is the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Oh, so he like mega stranded. I had recovered the interstellar radio. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal and attached the latest version of my voyage log. He sends them an entire book. <laughs> Days and weeks pass, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. <gasps> They took off toward this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. That is a ship. Yeah, it is. Well, no. Unfortunately, fate had. Why? Well, okay, what if every single ship that comes here crashes? The rescue officer said to rescue me crash landed. Her, her, her. Look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> 
Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. What about triple shipwrecks? Seriously! At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. Because it was. Yeah, he died. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ, a rookie, you! Uh, yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> That's right, you are my last hope. Oh, he's a goner. <laughs> he's gonna die. Emergency mission! Loading! Rescue the rescue guy! <laughs> So we're like the black ops that are sitting yeah. here, like the elite, but we're the rookie. We're the dude that still goes and gets like the breakfast. Like, <laughs> they're the guy that we did that didn't trust, so he didn't go on the official. <laughs> oh my crap. They're like, can I come? And they're like, no. <laughs> no, I think you need to sweep out the bay. <laughs> oh. oh no. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to fight to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corps is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Wow. They don't already. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh! Wow. Oh, it's an eyelash. That's it was terrible. Why? why she got one eyelash? I don't know. Alright, let's create a fun one. What skin color do you want to do? Oh. What are the different hair colors and stuff? Got, yeah, let's take a look at those. We gotta look too. at this before we. Look, her eyelashes just pop. Her eyelash just pops out, and it's terrifying. Yeah, it looks like it looks like little it, devil yeah, horns. I know it's kind of scary to me. Whoa! <gasps> no way! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Why did we both scream? We <laughs> spent too much time. <laughs> I want to be him so bad. Okay, we can be him if you want to be him. <laughs> Look at his hair. He looks like there's an octopus on top of it. Do you want to be him? Yeah, he doesn't, okay. he doesn't have those creepy eyelashes. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay. He's got stars in his eyes. He's seen things. <laughs> I wonder they kept him back to this <laughs> What one makes you giggle the most? Hey, I don't think I can play it with the second face. I can't do that. <laughs> He's just staring into your soul! Just need to be that one. This one? Or no, this one? Just do it. Do it? Okay. Oh. Wait, we got octopus hair. Whoa. Whoa. That's a swoop if I've ever seen one. Dude, look at those little bangs! Oh my god. Is that a bun? Or is it? Oh, it's a mohawk. A uh, mo bun. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you want to do this one or do you want to go octopus? I just love the octopus. Okay, we can go octopus. I want to make him as derpy as possible. Let's do it. <gasps> Ooh. His eyelashes! It's shaving his eyebrows changed too! Look at the green! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I kind of like the green or the purple. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make the bizarrest looking character. That's okay. <laughs> You choose between the two colors. <laughs> Bro's got bald spot. I know. All right, let's do purple. Okay. <gasps> oh my crap. We can match it to his hair. We can. Do you want to do it? Sure. No wonder they left him home. <laughs> All right. What do we want to name him? I'm gonna start saying the most r random names I can think Save. of. Archibald. Jimothy. Barthium. 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 <laughs> but Barthium? Okay. I don't know. I need to type it in. Hang on. Barth Yum. <laughs> should I do two U's? You should do two M's to make it fancy. Barth Yum. <laughs> I love it. And then that way when he's falling down a cliff, we can be like, Barth Yum. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to deploy Barth Yum. Barthume, home planet Kurt, the rescue corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Whoa. Not only my fate, but the fate of the entire rescue corps. Go, Barthume! <laughs> to the graphics. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. How did the noob land? The I, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's not a land. Maybe it's a crash. Barthium didn't pass his pilot's exam. Do Barthium! There's a dog. <gasps> is he dead? Why did you just go for? Is he dead? Why? Wait, 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 why is? 
Look at how he walks. Hang on. Look at Oh, it's a puppy. I feel bad for throwing rocks at it now. Oh, it has a purple collar too. That's my puppy. Oh my gosh. It's a little one. Why are his arms like that? His name is Ochi. This young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the shepherd family. This is his first mission. He's so cute. Ochi, this is my first mission too. So he's definitely a puppy because he's smaller than the rest of them. Oh, so that's the one that came with. You encounter the rescue corps rescue pup Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. We're only going to be able to have like four Pikmin. That thing is small. Yeah, this, he's definitely just a little baby. It's one of those potted plants. Oh my gosh. What's that, boy? <gasps> you found someone in need of rescuing. Come, Ochi. Can I throw him? Wait, can I actually? <gasps> can he pull it? Yeah, it looks like it. Go, Ochi! That is a strong dog. Oh my goodness, the muscles on this thing. It's, it, it's his pom-pom tail, it gives him powers. He's just gone. Ochi! Good Ochi, all the dirt has been removed. Is he gonna drag this dude too? Oh. Oh. He's never gonna get that stain off nope. of it. Nope. Uh, hmm. Is that you, Ochi? He's like, the noob? Thank the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. <laughs> I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone ex other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. Colin, as the Rescue Corps' comms operator, he handles communications for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Found Officer Colin. We're off to a good start. Yes, we are. And why does he look so sad? You met up with Colin, the rescue corps comms officer. That's one down. Now where could the other rescue officers be? His hair kind of looks like a nail. And that's funny that he's... <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, I guess he's not the kid mechanic, but that'd be funny. My path got cut off by a small landslide and my hunger became unbearable. I decided to nap to preserve, preserve my stamina. You're our, late re you're our latest recruit, right? It's Bartham. <laughs> I forgot we named him Bartham. <laughs> I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the court, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. We get dialogue options. What happened or- Oh no! There's not a, you guys suck, I landed just- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what happened, because that's what we're all wondering. What happened? No. I have no idea. There, was six, there were six officers on the ship, but we were separated and we were ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. <laughs> I'm glad he confirmed it landed somewhere over there. Yeah, but I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we could find a way back to it. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. Is it a cool pad? Oh wait, no, because we're not on, we're not copites on this one. It's an official rescue course tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up, up button on the left side here to open up your mission reviews. Ooh, interesting. So that guy was just gonna lay there and basically die until yeah. someone came and got him? Yeah. Bartham. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when I have a moment to rest. You know what? Just resting. This dude is lazy. Colin is lazy. For now, just remember that you can always tap up arrow to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Still missing. Oh, these are the missing operatives and then Olimar. Okay. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. Okay. I don't think he should be in charge. I think we should be in charge with our little elf ears. I, I wonder why you can't be him. This is strange. I don't know. This is a weird function. This though. is really strange. This dude, how did... He just could have walked five feet. And he's like, no, I'm gonna die here. There she is, the SS Shepherd. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're gonna reach it from here. There's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. I wonder if we're gonna get there through the good path. I don't know. Dude, Colin runs like we do. Always make sure the area is safe with R. What about... No. Uh, uh. 
it's radioactive. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. This dude. So I'm guessing it's not gonna let us. It's impossible to get. Just jump, <laughs> McKinley. This dude. I don't. Oh, have our dog dig. Yeah. <gasps> Good job, Mac. On the pole. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. How? He, with his face? Is he eating? Yeah, he's just. You know, he's just like if you just put your face up in there. So what happened to their other two legs? I don't know. Almost there. Uh. <laughs> Is that a sewer? You're going in first. No. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh, this looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. Ochi, don't go in that hole with them. It's gonna smell. Mm-hmm. Is it a teleporter? I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. This dude is an idiot! It looks pretty deep. We're just gonna have to dive right in. <laughs> For real? Or let's do it. I, there's nothing else to do. Okay, let's do it. That's the spirit. Here we go. Well, can they also go back to our ship and then fly and land by the other ship? They're not the smartest. <laughs> I'm just wondering. <laughs> it does look pretty dark down. They can push him. Push him. Yeah. Oh, gee. Can you hear the him scream? The burrow of the Gidoon? Sub level one? Oh my crap. Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue off. How did they get... Maybe they, they wandered in here and like, you know what? This is a good time for a nap. Maybe. And he keeps calling the dog a boy and a girl. Yeah, because the other one was a girl. <laughs> like, this one said uh, he, so I'm assuming oh. this one's a he. Because the last Olimars was a she, so I was just... Oh, no. They Did you not see him on the... <gasps> I didn't see him! Oh, my gosh! Okay, we need Pikmin, though. Okay, get him. What? <laughs> I thought he was tied up there. Oh my, what a place to find the captain! <laughs> That's the captain? That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of a rescue tour team. Look sharp, Bartham! The captain comes from a long line of rescue officer- Did you push a button? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Did I? I don't know, it's fine. This is no time for a history lesson! Hurry up and do something! How come she's got all cool stuff? I know, she got like war paint. Ah! I thought I thought that, that Ochi was a monster. Get him, Ochi! McKinley's gonna help you, Ochi. I'm, I'm trying to hold still for you. <gasps> nice. They Ooh. melted! Here, Ochi, attack. Oh. You can let go now. Phew, now we can finally relax. Look, Colin, I hate Colin. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you hear her? Yeah. Can you, can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging for so long. Okay, I can do this. She's just gonna fall. Wow! You know, for a rescue core team, like, these people aren't that good. She got a cute bandana, though. Why didn't we get a cute bandana option? Maybe we'll unlock more. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? He took a nap. Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see that you're alright. Oh, you! I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Bartham? Huh? She knows our name. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Oh, he did a horrible job. You should have commanded him then. Yeah. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog train. <gasps> Do we get Ochi? Oh, maybe. Shepherd, 99th generation, oh my gosh, rescue corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. So so that makes sense, you know. Mm -hmm. she, it, she just got the job because of her dad or something. Like that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we found Captain Shepherd. With a captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. We're doing really good. Look at that, we got half the team already. Yeah, and they, they couldn't do that by themselves. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what are you doing down here, anyway? And while exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned forward to take a look inside and fell right in the kin ladies. Guys are all idiots. It's like the stupid dude from the last one all over again. Louis? Yes. Yeah. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit, but when I came up on those, those icky slime creatures... 
Yeah, those are nasty. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered the cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. We look confused. Yes. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Bartham. He's the quiet type. Copy that. Is the Rescue Corps' way of saying understood? Let's try saying that together, okay? Copy that. I'm feeling rebellious. <laughs> Should we be a nuisance to society? Yes. Yeah? You guys are, I don't want to be under these people anyway. <laughs> I'm sure you're just nervous. This is your first official mission after all. It'll all come natural to you soon enough. Don't worry. That said, you'll need to review the Mission Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. How was saying copy that so different from them nodding their head? I get that more the radio. This is where you'll uh, find advice left by the captains, both past and present. It, it's the avatar state. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochai and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. Yes. Yay! I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Quite the conundrum. Don't worry, I know how to do this. Oh, yeah. That was quite a rush. I remember this area. Hmm. I think it's this way. Oh no, it's not this way. What do we do? I just kind of want them to get their steps in. There, that's where I fell in. My word. To think you survived a fall from that height. Didn't we? Though? Yeah, we did though. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? I just pushed the button. I pushed exit. Oh wow, it's a fan. Colin goes, Gua! Excuse me, Bartham. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe just don't touch it. Maybe don't lean over a hole and fall in. I know, this lady's driving that's like. I completely agree. Though in this case, your impulse behavior did get us out of that cave. Do you just carry that with you? Where did you pull that from? I mean, the ship is over there, but still. All right, Captain, the Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all of the cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenge inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Bartham and Ochi. I thought that we were gonna- I thought she, he was gonna say I guess we're gonna ignore the fact that I helped too. Yeah. But it's, I guess we're going to just skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Yes. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've just been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. How long have they been here? Of course, and good for you! You did it! Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Wait, so he didn't even go to the ship to get the flag? No, that's why I'm like, where did he pull it out from? What's that thing over there on the left? Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. <laughs> Nanny waddled away. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 bum. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. <laughs> wow, that was quite a thing just to throw what? out there. What? Oh no, will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for cap- We brought a ship. I know it's a little one, but we brought one. Even Ochi looks sad. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that might prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. They're gonna. S Do we get all his entire voyage log? If this is just like a biography. Ah! Duck, of course. <laughs> I found treasure. After a thorough investigation to the shiny objects found on this planet, I have detected that they must contain sparkulum. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. I will say, though, with that, that sparkly stuff around the thing we saw. Yeah, maybe we can use that to power our ship. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparkleum from the sparkling objects we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real-life treasures. I'm skeptical. 
But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from the, 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 what was that noise? So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. I like this mission. Copy that. This is mission. Because that's what she sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepherd. Did a three-year-old design this? Look for the sparkly stuff. <laughs> right. Once we collect the treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. <laughs> Our ship is called the SS Beagle. I love it. I love that they're all the names of dogs, too. SS Shepherd, SS Beagle. We just need it. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Don't go into the circles! That's never a good idea. <laughs> it's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot of a base for a base of operations. Call the ship over. We can just call it over. Never stand inside a random circle you find in the uh wilderness. -uh. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. See anything sparkly? Guys, we really, sh we really should split up. Why is she letting me lead if she's the captain? Try looking around the area. Not sparkly. Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Why don't we have any Pikmin? Let's check the tablet to see if there's emitting a high energy rating. All right, Ricky, push the up arrow to open the radar map. You know the, oh, the plus button, not the up arrow. Presence of sparkly, I'm confirmed. That is the the star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map. Okay, so it's just giving us. Every... Oh wow, McKinley, look! I can go all the way up. Wow. Look at this. That's actually really nice. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the S's Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. If we can collect 250 more units of sparkly, we might be able to restart the S's Shepherd. So there's oh, gonna be three in this area. There's that big one up there. Do you see that? <gasps> yeah. Right. Oh, gee! Move, guys. It's an Nintendo! Oh my gosh! That was close. Too close. I want Pikmin! But how are we going to transport this? It won't budge. <gasps> it's an oven! Oh my goodness, Ochi! 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 Come here! Ochi! Ochi! The boy is just captain. I don't know why she's got like war paint. What's this? Is it a treasure? I can't take Tornado Man and War Paint seriously. <laughs> Tornado Man and War Paint. <laughs> but wait, Ochi, don't eat that. Ochi, don't eat that. Bartham? Bartham doesn't say much. He's kind of quiet and shy. Oh, <laughs> it perfectly went into the circle. Right. to the pigmen like how did they unpluck themselves it's a good question huh it moved i don't think it's a treasure what could it be it looks some it looks like some kind of plant could this be that thing captain olimar wrote about in his voyage log sure? he called it an onion if this is an onion then what is the sprout i'm gonna go pick it they're gonna get mad at my impulsive behaviors doing anything very impulsive and I'm like for being a rescue corp they really should <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my I think this could be a pigmen according to Captain Oliver's voyage logs they're friendly and helpful creatures I just kind of wanted to attack it <laughs> oh my gosh well then may oh be, be nice Ochi Ochi is Ochi gonna kill him Ochi and the red pigmen are gonna have it gee do you think the red pigmen's nose is pokey it can resist fire, so I think that's it's true. Fight. Uh, can we acknowledge that the captain is terrified? I know. This is, <laughs> she really just got the job because, like, her mom or dad probably had it beforehand. Like, she. And she, it's just the war paint, too. She put that on there, like, you got the job. Yes. <laughs> ah! Look at that! Ochi's already bonding with the pig. Oh. I thought he was chasing him! No, Ochi. Ochi has her tongue out. I mean, his tongue out. Ochi looks happy. I thought the pigman was chasing him! Uh, no, I thought the pigman was chasing him. He's like, ah! Oh my god! 
Ouch! Mm. Um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? <laughs> Let's make an army. Yes. What? More sprouts? That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to an onion, it'll create more Pikmin. Aww. What a mysterious life form. Pikmin. Hey, um, let's find one of those and see if I can knock it down with the pebbles. That could be fun. Here, let me see if I can. Uh... Look! Oh, yes. How m we need a 10 for this one? I wonder if Ochi's gonna grow up as we play. That's cute. Oh, I was like, where are they going? <laughs> okay, going <gasps> Look, I'm pushing them so fast. No. Oh yes, you can do that. <laughs> Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Bartham and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. Pikmin are very obedient. They work a move like tiny rescue pups. <gasps> oh no, tiny rescue pups. Look at that one! Did you see him? Yeah, he's just He's being fabulous! Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Wait, we're actually on the planet at night, McKinley. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. I mean, if they have such a big ship like that, it, it, I mean, you could technically stay on the planet as long as you're indoors, right? Maybe. So shiny. That fixed all of our problems. It's like when you wish upon a star. <laughs> all you need to solve your problems is a Game Boy, a bell, and a sport. The SS Shepherd is running. Oh, good. We start restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkleum extracted from the treasure. Oh. We did it! The ship's back online! Woohoo! We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for missing rescue officers. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. Oh. They could be coming from our lost uh, rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Exploration results, day one. Rescues, Colin and Shepard. Sparkle I'm discovered. Noble Bident, Stone of Advancement, and the Path Creator. Again, the Path Creator. It's funny. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. We encounter unknown objects and elements on our mission all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. Apparently it was it was uh, co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. Uh, it is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. <laughs> yeah. Tornado Man's got this. That's, that's the first helpful thing Tornado Man's ever said. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of SS Shepard. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I'd been roughing it for long enough. How long did it take us to get to the planet, you know? And there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. How, what's our food supplies looking at, I wonder? And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Oh now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Bartham. Yeah, Bartham, I'm sending you out to find everyone and not me, because I'm a wuss. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. 